Now, just because the leaves are turning orange doesn't mean those orange barrels will be disappearing from certain roads. Yeah, that's right. And 4029's Robert Sir tells us one major project continues to hit some snags. Guys, good evening to you. We're here off the Weddington Drive exit of I-49 in Fayetteville. And as you can see behind me, it is very much under construction. The thing is, it has been under construction in some capacity since early last year. And RDOT tells me the completion date for this project is going to take longer than even they anticipated. RDOT is asking you to work with them and be patient as work crawls along to reconstruct the Weddington Drive exit. The $37 million project will widen the interchange, replace the existing bridge, and create new on-ramps for northbound traffic on I-49 while making the whole area safer. But as RDOT engineer Chad Adams tells me, much like the exit 85 Walton Boulevard exit in Bentonville, hidden utilities have hurt the project's progress. There are large water lines that have to be moved or worked around, so it's it's not like a, a, a small issue it's it's you don't just move a large water line you know there's there's things that you have to uh, take some timing and, and coordination he adds because of the hidden water lines the project is only about 10 percent complete meaning it's delayed the estimated completion date we're probably two years out is what we're kind of current estimate current the current estimate is about two more years to to finish construction. He says he's aware plans call for the complete overhaul of the MLK exit a mile down the road soon. And because of the delays at Weddington, travel through Fayetteville could not be fun over the next few years. Ideally, we wouldn't do that. But in this situation, there are two independent projects. They're, they're kind of progressing at their own pace. They, you know, financially have nothing to do with one another. While we had good intentions, uh, it may not completely play out that way. It may be that we we have both under construction that at, at least some point uh, that they overlap time wise. And guys, unfortunately, the sea of orange barrels here won't be going away anytime soon. But Adams did tell me that now that they've got those utility challenges out of the way, they can put the pedal down on construction activities here, meaning it could help traffic flow a little bit better sooner than later in Fayetteville. Robert Sir 4029